Hey guys, I'm on site uh, this afternoon for our daily connection for Thursday, April 16th, uh, here in front of the church, as you can kind of see. And, uh, you know, it's probably not going to stay quiet just the time I decide I'm going to film out here. Uh, normally it's pretty quiet, especially with no school going on across the street. But I uh, just thought I'd share with you a point of encouragement today uh, for our daily connection. Our uh, reading out of the Moravian Daily Text is at, actually out of Mark chapter 4, the first half of Mark chapter 4. Jesus tells a parable about um, the, the sower and talks about the different soils, different environments where the sower plants the seed. And so I thought it'd be appropriate to come out here and kind of give a visual illustration because uh, you'll see right over here, we just have some freshly planted seed. Rick, our grounds and maintenance guy, um, has planted grass here in the front of the church. We've been waiting for the whole Borse project to be completed over the last uh, number of months. It's looking good, but it left the front part of our church uh, property kind of torn up. So anyway, Rick planted some seed, which I thought, hey, this is a great illustration for us today because in Mark chapter four, of course, Jesus is describing these different soils that the sower has planted in. And within those soils talks about, well, you know, there's some soils where the seed um, get, can take root just a little bit, but then before you know it, uh, the sun scorches it. I got people driving by, I'm waving to them. Um, and then you've got kind of the ideal soil that uh, Jesus is describing which is uh, that of this rich soil. When the seed uh, hits the soil and takes root, it, uh, it, you know, it produces this incredible crop. Well, we're obviously not growing crops here. Uh, we're just growing um, grass, but still you'd hope that you would uh, had done the preparation well so when the seed is finally put down, uh, that it yields the very thing you want it to yield. So, you know, I think that this serves as a good reminder um, as, as we consider the planting of seed, and you're gonna see behind you, you can see where it was just freshly watered. So you gotta take care of the seed once it's planted. But I think what Jesus reinforced and kind of the encouragement for us is that, you know, the seed is God's word, it's his truth. And it's the question of, how will we receive that in our lives? How prepared are we to really receive the truth of God's word and ultimately to live that out? Will it really take root in our lives and grow? And you know, I'm challenged by even what we're going through right now, this, uh, what I've heard some describe as the great pause here during COVID-19. And really this idea that there, you know, we have, this opportunity during this time to continue to grow, to continue to um, just kind of flourish. And I think it's the question of what kind of, what kind of soil have we produced in our lives to allow that to happen? So I just want to encourage you today that the chance for us to, um, to continue to grow through this experience, again, as I've been saying again and again, to find the opportunity in the inconvenience and in the uncertainty that we would make sure that we have the type of soil in our lives that Jesus describes that can really help us grow. Let me give you one more shot on the backdrop. Maybe you can even see a little bit of the seed that is in there. But I just wanna challenge you, let the word of God take root in your life. There's one of our area pastors, Keith Hopkins. I don't know what he's doing. Doesn't look like he's working very much. He's got a truck full. Um, some of us are actually doing work during this time, Keith. Uh, so anyway, I just want to um, encourage and challenge you out of Mark chapter 4. Let's have that kind of soil in our lives uh, that the Word of God can really take root in and that it can flourish and grow. Um, my prayer is that you're doing well even during this great pause, this unanticipated time, and that God is uh, powerfully at work in your life. So God bless you today. Hey, get out and maybe enjoy a little of this sunshine. I'm uh, obviously kind of here alone, although it seems like once I start taping, everybody starts coming out. So uh, take care, you guys, and we'll catch you later. Bye.